we're going to talk about real estate deals today. Specifically, like, um, I, I have been getting people sending me deals and I know same thing, Heather, we were just mm -hmm. talking about this the other day. People are sending us deals and going, Hey, these look good. Can you like, are, are these good deals? They yeah. Look good. And 100% of the time I say, send me the numbers. I'll run a pro forma for you. Right? So right. it's the same as our pro forma, the way it's laid out. So that way it's really easy to compare. Um, and very rarely that, I mean, they'll, they'll, but they'll still be a good deal, right? It's not like they're gone, but yeah, this, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this, this week I had a, I think I texted you, Ron. I was like, OMG, <laughs> like, look at this deal. This is so, so bad, so bad. <laughs> um, and I have, so, and uh, you know, I think we're, so they run the gamut. Like, I don't think mm -hmm. those were big deals, right? They were houses yeah. or duplexes. It was or a, a small multifamily. Yeah. I, I was sent a deal the other day. So just, just kind of break the ice on this thing. I was sent a deal by a, a friend of mine and, and he was like, Hey man, this looks like a really good deal. And I took out the offering memorandum. I started to go through it. Um, and I kind of breezed past all the stuff that maybe other people read, which is all the flash, right? All of the, uh, you know, what businesses are around it and everything else like that. Let's just get down to the nuts and bolts. Let's look at the, let's look at the numbers on this deal. Right. Yeah. So I start to look at the numbers and I'm like, wow, this actually does at first glance. Cause I'm, I'm a, I'm a skimmer. I mean, I'm a, I'm an admitted skimmer. And, uh, sometimes that gets me in trouble when I read like Heather's emails or something that can get me in trouble, but I'm a skimmer. And so I skim through the financials really quick. I skim through what they said and I'm like, okay. I mean, if this is legit, it's actually could be a good deal. <laughs> so I understand why my friend sent it to me. He's, you know, you can buy this thing and it's a value add. You can do this, you know, they've, they've proved the uh, rent numbers by, you know, uh, about five different units that they've turned. There's all these other units you can turn. And then the thing turns into like an 8% or an 8.5% cap rate. And I'm like, what? Seriously, I can buy this thing and I can turn it into an 8.5% cap rate. That's a home run. I'm going to do it. I mean, mm -hmm. not a home run, but you know, it gets me on base at least. It's a good, good deal, especially in today's market. My gosh, if I can find something like that, it's a home run because over time I'll turn it into you know, probably a nine or a 10% cap rate. Yeah. Then I actually started to dig into the numbers a little bit further. <laughs> no more breezing over the numbers. Now I didn't really get into the tax numbers and all that stuff. Cause you have to go look on the, you know, website. I'm sure that they didn't increase the taxes and stuff like that. I didn't even get into that because I didn't need to. Yeah. There was a pretty glaring error in the offering memorandum, which means that these these people had a glaring era and their numbers and they didn't even realize it because they're trying <laughs> to sell this property now. And the reality of the situation is after I pointed this out to the, to the guy selling it, he was like, oh, okay, well, we're still firm on our numbers, which means some moron's going to buy this deal. Yes. And, and not we notice. Don't, we don't really care. Yeah. Somebody's going to buy it. <laughs> so the challenge was this. I don't, I don't have it in front of me, but let, let's just say that the, the, the capital expenditures to bring this thing up to current were $2 million. Well, the very simple mistake that they made in the offering memorandum is that they put all the numbers on there. They like, they disclosed it's going to be $2 million. This is based on what we've spent in the units that we've rehabbed. Right. Mm -hmm. And then when they recalculated the cap rate, after you do that and you add the income in and all that stuff drives, everything's looking good. The problem is that they made, they, they divided the net operating income by the mm -hmm. purchase price and they forgot to add in $2 million, million dollars dollars. capital expenditures. <laughs> if we could like put an exclamation on that. I mean, let's just pause for That's a second crazy. and realize just how big of a mistake that is. Okay. I'm not even sure they corrected it after I told them. Yeah. They kind of were like nonchalant. Okay. Well, I mean, it's still a good deal. Actually, no. No, it's um, not actually. It's not a good deal because what they really wanted me to do was pay around a six and a half percent cap rate for this um, older. It's not a brand new property. So it's, it's probably worth right now about a six and a half percent cap rate 
but if the financials were actually what they were reporting they would be after you spend two million dollars so they wanted me to pay them a six and a half percent cap rate then do all of the work to bring it to a six and a half percent cap rate which which, which is remarkable i mean it's remarkable i'm not really sure I'm really not sure what more to say about that. But when you get these offering memorandums and they're all pretty and everything looks great, don't just assume that whoever created that thing knows what they're doing because um, I get a lot of them and a lot of people don't.